In today's video, I'll show you how to use our embedded analytics SDK with Next.js. We'll walk through a sample app so you can get up and running quickly. If you're already using interactive embedding, the SDK is included in your plan. And if you're new to Metabase, check out our 14 day free trial. Let's get started. Let's head over to GitHub so we can clone our sample Next.js app. So I'll put a link in the description below but we'll go over here to this code button and let's go ahead and copy this URL. We'll open up a terminal and we can do git clone. Let's paste that in there and we'll hit enter. Next, let's jump into our favorite IDE here using cursor and we'll jump into the project. And you can see on the left hand side, we have this next sample app router and this next sample page router. For this demo, we'll be using the sample app router so we can expand that. And then let's go ahead and open up a terminal and we're gonna CD into this directory. So let's do CD next-sample-app router. We'll hit enter. And then we wanna install the dependencies. So we'll say npm install. All right, that will just take a minute to run. And the next thing we wanna do is we have this .env.sample file. We wanna go ahead and make a copy of this and put in our own instance URL and JWT shared secret. So let's go ahead and make a copy. So we'll do cp.env.sample.env. So you can see here, we have our .env file that we just copied over. And let's go ahead and get this instance URL. So we can jump over to Metabase. And if we click our URL, let's go ahead and copy that. We'll jump back into cursor and we'll paste it here. Let's get rid of that slash. And then we'll go down here, put it here as well. And then the next thing we need is this JWT shared secret. So let's go back into Metabase we'll come up here to the admin settings. And if you go under embedding, make sure that you have the embedded analytics SDK enabled. So flip that on and then we'll go to authentication and under JWT, we'll hit edit. You can generate your key or if you already have one, just go ahead and copy that. We'll jump back into cursor and let's paste it in here. Perfect. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and run our development environment. So let's go ahead and do npm run dev. And here we go. It's on localhost 3002. Let's go ahead and navigate over there and see if it worked. Come on. Loading. Bam. Here we are. Let's quickly walk through this app. So you can see on the left hand side, we have a few components. So we have this static question, we have an interactive question, we have a static dashboard. And static just means it's not interactive, it's like view only. So if I click, nothing happens. Whereas our interactive dashboard, if I click, there's some additional functionality. So now that you can kind of see how those components are laid out, let's jump into cursor. And we'll go ahead and open up our source folder and we'll go to this layout.tsx. This is where all the magic happens. So basically all our children are being wrapped by the Metabase provider. And we also are passing in this auth config as a prop to our Metabase provider. So if we scroll up to the auth config, there is a Metabase instance URL and you can see that's coming from our environmental variable. And then we have this auth provider URI. So if we navigate to this, so API Metabase auth, we have this route that handles all our JWT authentication. So now let's jump back into our layout. And if we scroll down that sidebar that we saw on the left, we had the static question, the interactive question, static dashboard and an interactive dashboard. Let's go ahead and look at just one of these. So if we go to the static question, we have this page.tsx, we have a question ID of one, and that's getting passed to our static question component. And this question ID is coming from Metabase. So let's jump into Metabase so I can show you. We'll go ahead and click on a question like this followers week over week. And you can see the ID up here is 150. So if we jump back into cursor, let's go ahead and update that to 150. And again, 
that's the ID from MetaBase. We're passing it to static question. And so now if we go back into our app and we go to static question, you can see it here. I hope this gives you a solid start with our embedded analytics SDK in Next.js. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you're already an interactive embedding customer, the SDK is included in your plan. And if you're new to Metabase, check out our 14-day free trial. Cheers!